we actually fell on QT Robot by accident. It was Caden's behavioral um, teacher at school. And she had said, oh, Caden mentioned that you guys have um, a robot at home. Do you guys have QT Robot? So then I said, what are you talking about, Cutie Robot? I, I don't know this robot. She's like, oh, Caden said that you had Cutie. And I, I said, well, what about it? She's like, oh, it's this amazing robot that I don't know if it's coming out yet, but there's a lot of rumors about this robot, this autism robot that's coming soon. So I went home and being a researcher that I am, I'm always into new stuff or what's happening with autism. I, I went on to... Um, your website and it said click for a meeting so I said I have nothing to lose it's just a zoom meeting and I booked it with you guys and none of my friends could believe that I was just talking to this team and you know and 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 across the world for us and and they were so engaged and so willing to work with with Caden and get and asking us lots of questions and you were asking all the right questions what kind of a student he is what are the things that he likes uh, what are his dislikes, weaknesses, strengths, and um, it was uh, it was really easy to work with you guys. And we were waiting for the pre um, the pre I guess you can call it the drop um, for the residential robot. And we were and then when it final when I finally got the email that our robot was ready, I just couldn't enter in my credit card fast enough. I was just like, get it in, like what is it to come? And then it arrives in this like beautiful packaging with with two tablets and it was a whole big experience. We did sort of like an unboxing because we were waiting for this robot. And um, the journey's been wonderful. We've been with you guys since, uh, what, a year, a year and a bit, I think. And um, it's just been, I don't know, personal. It's, you guys have been caring about us. You've been looking at uh, Caden's results. You've been giving me feedback. You've been giving me advice. And uh, the robot has been helping us the whole time. So it's been a pleasure working with him. He's not upset to work with the robot. Sometimes he doesn't want to go to school or therapy, but he loves the robot. Because of Cutie Robot um, being part of Caden's educational uh, plan, he's learned so much more than what he basically learns at school, uh, especially the community helpers um, unit. He's been learning about police. He's been learning about a veterinarian, veterinarians. He's been learning about chefs. He's been le learning about bus drivers. He's been learning about teachers. Um, so now Caden is becoming more of um, a community member himself. He's understanding what people's roles are. And because our school system is so fast paced and it's, it's difficult because Caden goes to a school, a special needs school, not all the kids are at the same level in his class. So Cutie Robot has become an extension of his teacher. And she asks us often how the robot is coming along and, and you know, things that he's working on and things that he needs. Um, and also the team has been working with us as well. Um, for Caden's speech, um, his paying attention has improved. His, um, his, his, he's more inclined now to like sit nice. He's one second, maybe. He's more inclined to sit down and participate. He looks forward to it. So it's just a general, um, he's more motivated. So, and it's not because of the toy anymore. It's because he feels he gets rewarded from Cutie. Cutie claps his hands. Cutie tells him way to go. You know, Cutie celebrates these wins with him. So he's feeling a sense of accomplishment. And I think that's what makes him come back to it. And he's getting, I think he's getting more aware. And he's, he's happy. He's happier. At the beginning, I thought that I can just skip a couple of units and we can get back to the harder stuff. Or I, I was thinking in my mind, oh, let's just get back to the most at heart, the hardest part of QD robot. Cause QD, obviously he builds up. Um, but then you guys had told me, I know it sounds, or it feels like it's just, you know, beneath his education, right? His educational goals, but it's so important for children on the spectrum to always have that strong foundation. So I just trusted you guys instead of me getting excited about it. And I would like just to jump and 
go ahead. So instead of that, I, I decided to, you know, let go of my um, excitement and just follow the progress and start from unit one and move up. So um, we did that. And then I realized how much Caden was actually missing in the foundation. I thought his foundation was super solid. It really wasn't. There were so many little cracks in it. For an example, um, Caden didn't know what a veterinarian was. He just thought it was a doctor, but because Cutie touches down on details and helps children learn about those things, now Caden can say veterinarian. This was a child. Caden was nonverbal, diagnosed nonverbal for a very long time. Now he can say veterinarian. He knows that a veterinarian is going to take care of sick pets, that a veterinarian is not going to take care of um, I don't know, a cut on his elbow or a cut on my elbow. Don't. So he just knows don't. these things. Don't, don't worry, you don't have a cut. Said that. No. Um, so it was the little things that I wasn't realizing that he was lacking. So wow. when, you put your, when you put your trust in the team and you say, okay, let me just start from unit one, even though I think maybe perhaps it's taking a, okay, he knows this, he really didn't. Now that we're, we've passed the unit one and we're, we're going up unit two, unit three, I realize he's, more, he's stronger now in those units because of the, of the foundation. So um, I think the buildup, the educational, I don't even know if it's a word, the educational buildup, start from you know, one and then keep moving up, that was the most important. beginning it was hard for us to find our groove because of work and I, we have other we, Kate and we have two other children at home and and um but we found most likely because I guess obviously it's a child by child um base and not yet and we found for him the best time was um after school so he would do his day he wasn't too tired um we would fix him a quick little snack I want to speak Italian for just us. <laughs> we would, we would fi fix him a little snack, and then he would sit with Cutie. We do half an hour a day. Um, the weekends, he takes off of Cutie because he also has ABA therapy as well on the weekends, and then he has his, um, his karate classes. So every day, Caden is exposed to some form of learning. Um, and once he actually tells me that it's time for cutie. Um, he, <laughs> wanna go get the picture that you drew? Go ahead on the wait, wall. Wait, wait, go get me that picture. Go ahead. He drew a picture at school and uh, he, he looks forward to cutie. So he knows that it's part of his routine. And I find that we, since we visualize, he's such a visual kid, we wrote his schedule down and then he knows that cutie is from, like, let's just say 4.30 to 5. I never had um, as much involvement in all the other therapies. I would pretty much drop off my son and sit outside in the waiting room for his one hour of speech. Or I would drop him off for his two hours of ABA and then I would pick him up. And it was just after the session, we would just say, oh, Caden did wonderful. I'll email you some homework. And that was it. But Cutie actually puts the parents um, in the driver's seat. We get, to, um, we get to see the progress in real time. We see how the children are going up. We know if they've answered it correctly. Um, so then all of a sudden, we get to find out where our kids need a little bit more help. So this is like, a, we're, I'm totally engaged with Cutie Robot. Um, my daughters help me as well. My husband does cutie robot with Caden as well. So if I'm too busy making dinner, my daughter will step up and she'll say, oh, mom, are we on, are we on, uh, let's just say community helpers unit four? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, uh, should we do this part? Oh yeah, like they all know which, where we're at. So, um, and the kids know how to use it. So it was more of a family thing. So, um, and then my kids' friends come over. They're like, oh, that's a really cool robot. Like, what does it do? So um, we all know as a family where Caden's at. 
when it comes to his educational needs and his goals. We're more involved because we're the one running the program and we're the one who like when, when things are wrong, he'll I'll click wrong answer or whatever. Not, and when he sees that he got a wrong answer, QD Robot Sorry. will explain to him. <laughs> QD Robot will explain to him where he got it wrong. Sorry. And then he'll ask him another question to distract him from that last question. And then QD Robot will re-ask him the, like, oh, um, what does a bus driver drive? And then Caden will be like, okay, school bus. <gasps> He's able to compare community workers now and understand the differences between all of them. And there's a section where it'll say like what not to do. So it's the opposite. We always being taught what to do, right? And then how QD robot reverses it. So he'll give you a situation. Um, so if you're in a restaurant, like what are you there for? So Caden, will, or it'll be like the families in a restaurant, like tell me three things about the family in the restaurant. So it forces him to push himself. So now he knows that well, when we're going to a restaurant, it's not just about getting a pizza and going home. Now he knows, you know, we're in a restaurant or we're happy to be there or the person that's going to come to our table is a waiter. And then the person in the back is going to be the chef who's going to make us a pizza. So it's a whole entire, um, I don't know how to say it. It's like a global way of learning. So now Caden, whereas before when we would go pick up a pizza, that was it. Now he, because of QD Robot, he understands the process of getting a pizza. That was the very important part. Um, we, when we had QD Robot, everything was pre-pandemic so we were in like you know going through phases and we, we weren't really quite sure we weren't prepared what was going to happen or how far this pandemic was going to go so we were very fortunate that when school got shut down um for weeks at a time or perhaps teachers went online with zoom which proved to be ineffective for the majority of our, our special needs students or children. Um, what we saw was that um, parents are in generally just saying that they saw such a regression with their children. Um, their kids stopped communicating um, the way they used to communicate. Uh, there was a lot more behaviors because they were home, they were out of routine. Um, also kids were a lot more stressed so acting out in certain ways um, and parents were just sick and tired of, you know, coloring at home. You weren't allowed out. Everything was closed. I mean, how much do you want to color? How many puzzles do you want to do? It gets to the point where all of a sudden your children are just in front of the iPads, just, you know, plugged into the matrix. I call it the matrix. They're just in a different world and it's doing nothing. The video games are fun, but at the end of the day, it's not doing anything for our children. But because we had the support of QD Robot throughout the whole entire pandemic, I'm really happy to say that Caden didn't, did. Kaden well, didn't have a, we didn't have a regression in my family. Um, all of Caden's friends experienced that. And all these parents that have worked so hard pre-pandemic, they saw their kids just going backwards in, in many different areas, behaviors, education, um, even patients, kids don't have, they didn't have patients anymore. So we're, we're fortunate enough to have um, gone through this pandemic unscathed with Caden. Um, if anything, he's, we were able to focus Mom. more on our goals, our educational goals alongside Mommy. the robot. Um, yeah. So we were able to do that and Caden's been great. Caden's been great. <laughs> I find that because QD, the tablets have the visual support and you'll be able to see, like, let's just say uh, if you're doing emotions, it'll say, um, I'll tell you, QD robot will tell you a story and let's just say their friend was, um, their friend was, uh, I don't know, the blocks fell, somebody kicked the blocks down. How does my friend feel? So you'll see a happy face and you'll see a sad face. So. For me, I don't see any, any, how, I don't see it going wrong because I don't know, because there's the visuals there. So if a child is nonverbal, they'll still understand the visuals. 
or if a, if a child has like a tablet that they use to help them communicate, you can still say happy or sad. And the parent will still be able to work with the educator tablet and the learner tablet together. So even if you start off at like three to five minutes a day, you can build up that tolerance for it. But I think that it's very colorful, it's very engaging. Um, QD Robot has a very cute face, like a very, like it's a robotic face. It's not like a creepy robot. I don't see a, a child getting afraid of it because he's very friendly looking. And um, I think it's just a matter about a, a parent just having the patience to start from getting their kid to sit down for a little bit to pay attention to it. QD robot really does help Caden. Um, like he, he's learned now to, Caden, turn it off please. He's learned now how to um, give space while people are talking. I didn't realize that Caden would like talk to you like this. He wouldn't, he had no boundaries for that. And I'm realizing when I look in the schoolyard, most of his friends, they all kind of just really talk really loud or re really close to each other. So QD Robot has helped him with the space around him. So obviously I want math and science, but he's just the functional stuff that you guys are teaching him. I wasn't thinking about that at all. So thank you guys. I don't know who came up with that program, but it was, <laughs> it was really, it was a good program because afterwards my husband and I were looking at each other like, oh, wow, we, we're all, we all close talkers. None of us regarded anyone's space really. So now my daughter, her friends are like cutie robot. They put their arms out, they give space to each other. So it's really, it's really, it's really sweet that you guys did that. So I, I love the functional uh, programs that you guys have and just the little things of helping Caden have manners and to be nice and to give people space and to give people time and to not kick down someone's sandcastle and stuff like that, little things like that. And um, on the educational side, yeah, for sure. I would love to see a le little bit more um, math skills and uh, some science stuff and um, telling the time. And what else? Did I oh yeah, like story time is very popular with us with at school and stuff. They'll like to tell a little short story and then answer a couple of questions afterwards. So you guys integrated that program into Cutie. I thought it was awesome.